Okay, in order to upload our files, we have to have an FTP client. My favorite is one called FileZilla. Uh, it is absolutely free. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you've downloaded this presentation from the website, um, you'll find a link to get a copy of FileZilla and install it on your computer. I already have it installed. It was very, very simple. It's self-explanatory. You tell it to start um, to set it up and it just walks through everything. So remember we can get our um, upload information for FileZilla. Let's go to FileZilla. You're going to need the host, the username, the password, and the port is usually standard port 21. You don't even have to put anything in there. So we'll go back over here to our CentovaCast and we'll go to our quick links. This is the easy way to do it. I'm telling you, I'm taking the chicken way out. Get your host name, which is the IP address. We go back over and we paste that in. Then we go back to Centova. We get our username. We paste that in. Now, Remember, we can get our password by going over here, our administrative password, by going back to settings. And then we click on this so we can see the settings. And we can copy the admin password. We can go back over here to paste. We simply quick connect. Now remember in part one we set up all of our all of our folders with our audio files. We've got our adverts, we've got uh, Christmas, heavy rotation, light rotation, regular regular rotation, and sweeps. Now remember for training purposes we're only going to use regular rotation. But we're also going to go ahead and upload. So when you get here, you're going to go to this is your media, and this is where you want to upload everything. So we'll take and highlight just like that your folders that you've already made and we're simply going to drag them over and they're going to start uploading now while the upload is going on we can start making our playlist. Remember, we're going to make our playlist just the same as what we're uploading. So we can go right over here into CentovaCast and go to Playlists. And there's Standard Rotation, Sweeps. I change Station Identification to Sweeps. You simply go in here and you change the title of it, and it will. In my sweeps, I've made it's an interval um, already. Every five songs, it's going to play a station ID for me. We've got it enabled. We save it. And then our standard rotation, we have that enabled. Now remember, I didn't do any heavy or light rotation, even though I uploaded the folders and the music. We're just going to do a basic uh, rotation now to get your station up and going. So we have our standard rotation. And if you'll look at that playlist, just click over here. So our playback weight, we're not going to worry about that right now. If we're running multiple rotations, we would set the weight of the rotation. But in this case, we're just doing a general rotation. And we're going to randomly shuffle out of the um, standard rotation file folder. Don't need to save anything there. So one thing we're missing is the Christmas playlist. So let's create a playlist. We're going to call it Christmas. We're going to make it enabled. And let's make it an interval. 
An interval means every so many songs it'll play a Christmas song out of our Christmas playlist. So let's say every sixth song is going to be a Christmas song. I'm going to do this instead of making it a... I, we could make it a scheduled rotation and schedule it to start at a certain time and end at a certain time. But in this case, I just want to mingle in Christmas songs. And then after Christmas, I'll go in and shut off the Christmas playlist. And I'll just save it again for next year. So we got our Christmas. We're enabled. It's an interval every six song. We're going to play one randomly selected track from the playlist. And we save it. So now we have Christmas. Okay, so we've got all of our we've got all of our playlists ready to go. So when our files are done uploading, uh, which will take a while, so we'll come back to it, we'll be able to go in and drag and drop our music into the playlist. But now we're set up. So once your files are done uploading, then we'll come back and we'll set up our playlist, get our music in there, and get our station on the air.